Well, if you're just joining us this morning, here are the eight things you need to know today. The governor's State of the State address has been delivered with a focus on his new budget proposal. WMTW News 8's Morgan Sturdivant is in the studio with more on how it could change the way we all pay taxes. That's right, Megan. The governor gave his speech to a joint session of Maine's legislature last night, essentially kicking off a campaign to sell his budget proposal to Mainers. The biggest part of the governor's two year spending plan is the proposal to chip away at Maine's income tax rates and increase taxes on sales and services. The governor says that makes sure it's tourists who pay more taxes and not Mainers. He also wants to cut and eventually eliminate the municipal revenue sharing money the state sends to cities and towns. Democrats say LePage is not giving the full picture of what his ideas will do to the state, but the governor says his reforms will bring people and businesses to Maine. And next week, Governor LePage will begin holding town hall style meetings around the state to answer questions about his budget proposal. Live in the studio this morning, Morgan Sturdivant, WMDW News 8. The city of Portland is taking a landlord to court after his Dartmouth Street property fails a second inspection. Gregory Nisbet had until Monday to bring his building up to code, but officials say he made repairs to just one side of the building. Nisbet is also the owner of the Noise Street house where six people died in a fire last fall. An investigation is underway after a New York City commuter train collided with an SUV, killing seven people, injuring several others, and sending hundreds scrambling to safety as the front of the train burst into flames. Officials say the train could have been going as fast as 60 miles per hour. A team of investigators from the NTSB are on their way to New York right now. And officials in Taiwan say a flight, wow, look at this, that had just taken off. From Taipei rolled over on its side in midair, clipping a highway and crashing into a river, killing at least 19 people. This video coming to us from Taiwanese broadcaster TVBS. 24 people are missing, and the death toll is expected to rise. Hard to watch. Continuing the eight things that you need to know today, officials in Jordan wasted no time responding to the killing of one of its pilots who was burned to death by ISIS militants. This morning, Jordan executed two Iraqi prisoners with ties to Al Qaeda. News of the killing came as Jordan's king visited Washington. He met with President Obama after learning about the video and flew back home. Wall Street soars. The Dow opened 305 points higher this morning with the energy stocks like Chevron and ExxonMobil leading the surge. A 7% jump in oil prices is getting much of the credit. Crude oil closed at just over $53 a barrel, the highest in weeks. And just talking about it, WMTW News 8 has you covered for today's Patriots Victory Parade. You can catch it right here. We're going to be airing it live on Channel 8. Our coverage begins at 10 o'clock this morning. The duck boats roll through the city at 11 o'clock, starting at the Prudential Tower and ending at City Hall. You can also catch it streaming online if you're away from your TV at WMTW.com. Now. Temperatures right now are sitting in the single digits as you wake up, maybe getting into those teens. As the cloud cover has rolled into the area, we are at Biddeford Intermediate School today, where we will continue our weather at your school program. Had a few delays due to weather, but we are back and excited to speak with the fourth grade class in a little bit. If you are headed out in the Biddeford area, keep in mind it's still chilly this morning. Could have some snow showers later on. Matt.